rolling? <clears throat> Greetings! I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures. And she's a real charmer. <laughs> Egabel, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm Lisbeth, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snacktooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. <gasps> There's one now. I got it. I got it. Ugh. Ouch. Uh, good effort, Bilbo. As for you, I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work, The Shadow of Grumfoot, the secret of Soylent Grump, stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truths. And also like me, if you truly recognize your talent, you are just the Grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together, you and I will share the incredible tale of Bug Snacks. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic! Remember that whole mess with Grumplantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Because I've got a working brain. Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Well... It is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbeth herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm dying, though. <laughs> what? Why is this me, Philbo? I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and oh, I couldn't catch any bug snacks. That's... Uh... What? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Wait, you're not Lisbert. Oh, Grump. It doesn't matter who you are. Please give me something to eat. Hooray! Ow. Oh. 
Um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? Find out which one it is for me. <laughs> Um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? Find out which one it is for me. Oh, good. That that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, you aren't me anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor and take my snack trap. <laughs> its tracks come out of this bush. Put the snack trap down there, and then we'll hide. Let's hide behind this rock. Nice! I'll pick it up before it escapes. Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks? I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. <laughs> Get me three more of those bug snacks, please. I thought I could hack it on my own, but I guess I'm just not good at anything. I thought I could hack it on my own.
Awesome! Lifesaver, buddy. Oh, sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Oh, you got the film! I helped Lisbert make that. I know who you are. You're the journalist! I knew it was stupid to ask. Lisbeth said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> hey, 
buddy. I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but Lisbert might not be there. I don't know where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Ready to go, buddy? All right. Through here. Yeah! How's the farm? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you wanna come with? No. Well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbert around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. Well, it's better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Bunger, 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 bunger. Ah! Bunger, bunger, bunger. Whoa! Darn bunger! Get out of here! Ooh. Hey, stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my sauce slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. Man, I'd hate bug snacks if they weren't so darn delicious. Man, I... thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo.
Don't you worry. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a-okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, stranger. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. <laughs> Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down. Man, that... You take care now. You're doing good, buddy. Uh, don't forget your snack scope. And your sauce. Tastier than I thought. Now, I want to eat those darn shishk bugs. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. <laughs> Man. Now, I want... You're doing good, buddy. Uh, don't forget your snack scope. Bunger, bunger, bunger. Bunger, 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 bunger. It's good, bug. Bunger, bunger, bung, bung, bung. Sisko, bug, sisko, bug, sisko, bug. Bunger, bunger, bunger. Bunger, bunger. 
Let's get revenge on those bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. <laughs> So long, stranger. dealt with for now, but they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, I sure could use help with this tree. Well, best not to dwell. You hold on, I got this. There we go. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch up. God, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope. Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. I... you... Uh, oh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb! Journalist? I haven't seen a new face in like forever. I'm Bethica Winkle Snoot, and I know everything about everybody. That 
Wambus guy is married, but his wife totally wouldn't come farm with him. So tragic. That Wambus guy is... I love your snack scope. You and me are toads twinsies. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. You lost your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up.
Everything you scan with the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. That Wambus guy is married, but his... Bye-bye. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. Well, here we are. Woo-woo-wee! It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. Without Lisbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh, it's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. I'm sorry. I guess you're not gonna get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a... Deputy mayor? I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything and here I am. Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do, and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd lead me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. There was a big fight and then an earthquake and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. They couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbert saw in me. Uh, 
Sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbert might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody listened to me, but, but you? You're pretty good at stuff, and, well, nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Find the other Grumpuses, find out... Goodbye! Evening. An interview? All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. <laughs> Wambus Troubleham, farmer. To start a farm? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Oh, uh, what do I think about bugs and ash? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. Well, they ain't animals, and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw, or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. <laughs> Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. None of my dang business. <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. Doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel, Liz's partner. I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now. Back to work.
Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. Bye! You really got them all! I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Bethica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. <laughs> Why 
Mini. Oh, yeah. Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. miss me too much. Here, oh, there's a balloon? Huh, you know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded, but I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. Bye! Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy, I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. His wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10 perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town, bestie.
Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before, fresh and gooey-like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. <laughs> I'm Bethica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. I'm here on vacay. Related fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama. We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. Uh, hey, my cave was sweet. Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. And he tried to sell me her projector. So I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Egabel. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Liz and Egabel got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie.
gorgeous doctor to treat my grievous wound. Well, this gorgeous doctor thinks you're an idiot. Oh, well, that stings. And after I face those snacks just for you. Don't joke around. I, I don't want you taking risks to impress me. But you are impressed, yes? Ow! You're lucky it's such a shallow cut. Stop squirming around or I'll have to restrain you. Bigger Bill, not while the camera is on. Trying to look strong for your audience? <clears throat> oh, how's it look, Bill? Think I'll be up and hunting soon? No, you need to stay a while, Liz. Aw, Bigger Bill, you miss me that much? I just want you in peak hunting condition. <laughs> Speaking of, you haven't seen the wall from my latest excursion. Ooh, did you bring me something good? You tell me. It's a brand new snack, and you'll be the first to try it. Oh, Liz, you spoil me.
Evening. Thank you kindly. I'll get those bug snacks growing. You'll see.
Hi. Snacksburg is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. As is extracting feces from the latrine. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. A bit of gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> This is the snack activator. Feed me strabby. Poke snack activator in foot. Foot turns into strabby. Understand? Stra yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. Very good. I will allow you to field test the snack activator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further.